what's up enthusiasts it's your boy rob back with another video thank you for joining me for this oh so special video guys i'm happy to announce that hero quest rise of the dread moon quest pack is out for pre-order and yes your boy will be pre-ordering will you let me know down in the comments guys i'm excited for this one as i should be as you should be as well i wanted to take a look at some of the contents in the box and uh just maybe just talk about it i know here on i'm on gamestop Dot com and then that's where i might dot com like i that like i really need to say that this is gamestop's website guys this is most likely where i'll order it from unless for some special reason amazon has it for a better price i've heard from time to time that amazon does re uh, ship their games a little sooner than everyone else so maybe i don't know if you, are you guys going to be ordering from amazon gamestop the hasbro labs or has Pulse or whatever it's called you guys let me know all right, so looking at the some of the con or the contents in the box, it doesn't look like an overwhelming amount of stuff. But I mean, it's an expansion. It's not a you know a standalone expansion, which would be nice. So someone call Hasbro, let them know. Can we get a new standalone expansion um, that kind of just revives the game to a, a different extent, like that breathes a new that breathes that breathes a new fresh breath. Of air into the game with a, a full new map that would be great but uh what we're gonna get here with uh, the dread moon is a looks like a center p a center tile that goes over the large room in the center of the the standard map we've got uh let's see if we can get a closer shot here than that that, that might be not that's okay here we go that's the shot we need so top left hand corner we've got the large tile there the outdoor tile looks like which that would have been cool as a full map and i'm going to be that's going to be awesome if it like flips out as a full map which i doubt it will uh, we've got the rise of the dread moon quest book which i believe let me look let me look has 10 thrilling quests as it says in the product description we're going to get some tokens uh looks like some character portrait tokens uh, i don't know what those are going to be for per se maybe that's like some sort of stealth thing or whatever you know they're elves they, they could be stealthy and we've got um some more looks like mercenaries uh we've got the knight and is that the the one rogue knight of, of elethorn or wherever it's called is that that guy okay anyway looks like we also have some translucent models as well all new furniture which i never understand the thing about the doors um the, the doors that don't open it kind of just doesn't go along with the rest of the contents in the uh, core set but it is what it is they're giving us looks like some more um maybe a tomb um some statues as well and two cardboard stand-ups looks like a mirror of some sort um so yeah we're going to be getting that we're going to also be having some cards in there of course we're going to get a bunch of new cards i'm assuming it's going to be some repeats as well i was taking a look at some of the text on the cards really hard to read even when i'm zooming in so you guys may not be able to see me zoom in but i'm zooming in on my other monitor and uh looks like one card that stood out to me was uh channel dread uh, now, if Channel Dread is a card that you've seen before, let me know. Um, but basically, this is one of these cards that can deal damage directly to the hero by just rolling. And uh, you're going to get to, I think it's, you roll an extra red dice for every adjacent creature in that room or monster in the room. Um, so, you could do some uh, damage, but I, you can do damage, but not enough. I feel like the card's a little underpowered because you only roll, you only... The max you can do is two body points of damage, and I feel like you should be doing more at this point. But maybe the models are hard. I love to, I love to see some of the enemies' stats. Other than we've got the uh, striker right there, I want to see you know what the specters can do. Um, guys, this is going to be a really quick video because there's not much else to look at. Um, I've told you what I would like to see. Um, and the biggest thing I want to see, and I said this already, but I'm going to say it again. The biggest thing I want to see is an outdoor map 
to uh, really change things up, change up the scenery a little bit. And then they can also do some terrain, uh, outdoor terrain as well. Guys, that's going to be it for me. This is going to this is going to be pre-ordered. And when I get it, I'll most definitely do a box opening if that's what you guys want to see. I know everybody and their mom's going to be doing it as well. But um, I'm just going to be one more voice that you can uh, listen to, one more video you can watch, and uh, just enjoy it with me. Guys, that's it. Have a great weekend, and I will see you guys again tomorrow.